Are you afraid to fail? Maybe you're afraid of success. All right. Hey, guess who I am? You probably know me, right? The name's down below there. Hey, I'm Lamar Scholl from Direction to Success. I gotta mix it up sometimes, you know? Look, if you want to see more videos just like this one, we'll be talking about the mindset tonight, your, you know, your fear of success. It's not failure. It's probably success. I'm going to explain a little bit more in this video. Look, if you like this video, or even if you don't like this video, hit that like button anyways. It's the one, the guy doing, the hand doing this, you know, thumb up. Look, if you have any questions, just a thought, even want to say hi, drop that in the comment below. Hey, sorry, that's just my attempt at some jokes here on the fly. Um, good thing I'm not a comedian. I'd be broke. But anyhow, all right, enough of that. Let's talk about being, a you know, success, being afraid of success. What's holding you back? What are the things stopping you? You know, this is something I know, like I, I went through, you know, and I still go through it every once in a while, right? Especially when I was first getting started, I always thought I was afraid of failing, but it wasn't. I had to have somebody, one of my coaches really straighten me out. He said, Lamar, your, your, your fear isn't of failure, it's of success. And I didn't even understand him at the time. That's how much I was unaware of what I was doing to myself. What was I doing? I was uh, sabotaging my efforts. Me, it wasn't anybody else but me. It was just self-inflicted sabotage on me. <clears throat> but really, you know, I think this happens to all of us when we first get started, right? Because look, you know, when you, you, when you start your business, you know, like, hey, there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of things you don't have answers for. You, and you don't even know, like, what's going to happen from point A to point B, right, along your journey. And a lot of time, well, it isn't a lot, our mind, subconscious, right, our subconscious doesn't like things that are unknown. Our subconscious, meaning yours too, doesn't like change. And with success will bring change and lots of it. All right. And, I, and this is where, you know, like our subconscious is always working against us because it wants to be comfortable. It wants, it doesn't want to see change. It likes things just the way they are, you know, just keep everything right where it is, that type of thing. Right. But that's where, you know, this is the first thing I want to talk about, right? Fear of success. Part of this is fear of change. And, you know, we none of us like the unknown, and we don't really like the like change, right? We all want to have something laid out in front of us and a guarantee. And, you know, when you start an online business, there's no guarantees of any kind, right? Nobody can guarantee your success. And I think that's what makes it the most difficult. And kind of what we start doing, at least I was from, you know, from time to time, which means a lot, I kept going back to something that was, I was comfortable with, something I knew, you know, whether that was work or just something else going on in my life. I found myself doing that quite a bit. And all this whole time, I was telling myself I was afraid of failure. I didn't know that I was afraid of success, right? You know, because, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you one thing, well, there's more than one thing, but one big thing that you need as you're going along your journey in success, with success, right? You got to have faith. You literally got to have faith and just tell yourself things will work out. You know, things aren't going to be clear. That path, it will hardly seldom be clear. When it is, then you know what that means, you're getting too comfortable. We're going to talk about that near the end of this video, right? But, you know, it's difficult, right? When you don't know something, just the fear of the unknown. And how do you keep pushing forward? How do you keep forging ahead? You know, this is where, you know, and then, right? And sometimes, like, when things are going good, it's like, oh, you know, I got to back, pull the reins. But this is something we want, right? 
This is something you want. So like as an entrepreneur, you're going to start learning, right? That you need to be uncomfortable. And when you are uncomfortable, you are growing as a person. And this is what you need to do to succeed. All right. And hey, it doesn't matter. Like when you learn something like at the beginning here, we're going to talk about that a little bit and you get past that, you're going to be hitting something else again and again. That's literally what an entrepreneur does. You're going to go through all these challenges. Let's put them that way, right? But what you start to recognize after a while that your brain know or you just know your subconscious is going to hold you back because it likes to be comfortable, right? But you know you've got to get out of your comfort zone to grow. And that's one of the things, you know, that I started doing and I started seeing my results changing. And then, okay, once I got over that, I'm like, then the next thing I was worried about is, hey, what happens when you do become successful? Think about that. You know, now your responsibilities are bigger. You got more responsibilities. Let's put it that way, right? So now you start thinking, oh, now I'm starting to get, you know, um, success, more people, I'm getting more followers, right? It gets a little more scary, right? That's a scary thing too. How am I going to help them, right? If they ask me a question, I'm not going to probably know the answer, but let's go back to what got you there, right? So think about when you first start something, when you're afraid and just uncomfortable, let's put it that way. But as you go through it, right, you start learning how to go through it. And now you know it. And that's all your followers want to know. So just show them what you already know. So it actually gets easier because now you're kind of, you know, success is who you're becoming, right? So that it's easy. It's already there for you, right? That's so that's not the hard part. It actually gets that part gets easier over time because now you start getting experience and you're getting knowledge. Let me let me give you an example. Let me just back up because I think I just kind of jumped over a lot. I was trying to keep this video short and I always do a bad job with that. But anyways, let's let me just let's kind of give you a bigger picture here. So like I'm, a, I'm an affiliate marketer. You're probably watching this video because you might be too or, you know, some type of online business. And I have people come to me and they're you know they start thinking of this whole picture right about getting leads and you know emails and how what am i going to do what i'm going to say you know content and, uh right so what's happening see they're already self-sabotaging themselves because they're thinking of the whole picture right and they're trying to figure it all out but as you go through your entrepreneurial i think that's a word journey you will not have all the answers. And that's where faith comes in. That's where faith just helps you to move along and keep moving forward, even though you don't know every step of the way. And the next, you know, the other part to that is just kind of going back to like when people come to me and ask me how you get leads, you know, they're trying to ask too many things. It's like the first thing I asked them, it was just yesterday morning, I uh, had a guy in uh, a call and he goes, you know, Lamar, how do you get leads and all this? And how do you do your emails? You know, how do you make conversions? What do you say? How do you find content? And I asked him one question, one question. And I go, have you gotten a lead yet? And he said, no. He said, okay, what we're going to do is just take things one step at a time, right? Here's A, here's point A, here's point B. We want to get there, but we've got all these steps to take along the way, right? So you're trying to do them all at once. Like you're trying to make this big leap over here. It's not going to happen, right? So let's get leads first. Let's focus on leads first, and then we'll do the emails. You know, we'll worry about those after you start getting leads, after you start mastering the leads. So the idea is you have all these steps, right, along your journey. Master the first step. Master the first step before you move to the second one. So the, in this case, it will be getting leads. Let's master getting leads. Once you're good at that, now we're going to master email, right? So the, once you take do things like this in steps, right, you, it's going to save you from getting overwhelmed. I agree. You know, you still have to know this whole big picture, but don't 
focus on that daily or a lot actually just focus on those small steps those small steps are going to help you toward your goal just take those and once you focus down and concentrate on a smaller amount of you know stuff let's call it that right you you're not going to be as overwhelmed and once you learn that now you can move on to email marketing right let's move on to the sending out the emails let's figure that out now when you're you know your followers are asking you questions guess what you've mastered how to get leads so you can answer their questions see how easy it is you already have it inside you it's already in here you know it if you do it step by step and master the steps. And this is in anything you do, right? This isn't just getting leads. I'm just using this for an example because that's all I could think of on the fly right now. And that's kind of my daily thing I'm dealing with anyway. So that's something I know, right? So this is how you're gonna help your followers. So now when your followers ask you, hey, you know, don't know who you are but i'll use my name hey lamar how do you get leads well i can tell them how i get leads and i can show them every step of the way and that's what i do that's all i do but i know now you know one thing i've learned because i did the same thing i was trying to think of the whole picture i needed to know every step i need to know how much time what do i have to do how many steps but you're not going to know that right 99 percent of the time you're not going to know the whole picture but once you're, you, you get the mindset where you know it doesn't matter, and yes, I got to get uncomfortable to grow, and, right? It, it, it'll work out. What, you know, as long as you have the right mindset, it's going to work out. And if you start having that doubt, and I do, you know, it happens to me, but I, I, I'm aware of that. And I quickly know to change my mind I, or mindset, right? I quickly know, like, whoa, this isn't going to help me, this thinking, right? Um, Zig Ziglar called it stinking thinking and I know that now so I'm aware of like when I'm doing that I'm like hey this isn't gonna help me get anywhere right so I go back to okay what step do I need to do today I'm gonna get that step done do I know this step is it mastered yep then I move on to the next one it, it's I'm saying it's simple it's not because it's so much in the mind but that's the idea and that's how most people get through their task that's how you get you know that's the only way you're going to learn things now the other thing is now we want to kind of talk about this and kind of put it all together right so all these things that we're kind of talking about right are stopping you are really your subconscious just sabotaging yourself right because it's trying to get back into that comfortable place and that just place of familiarity something like that can't say that word <laughs> but anyhow look <clears throat> it's really the more you get out of your comfort zone right so the more time the more challenges you take on like this what happens is the way you grow is being uncomfortable and your comfort zone actually starts becoming bigger and bigger and bigger in this case that's a good thing right so now like think about things you used to do right that you're uncomfortable with as you're going through them. now you're they're normal and you're comfortable doing them so now your comfort zone has just increased more and more and this is how you're gonna grow as a person now when you start getting really successful in your comfort zones way out here now you have a different mindset to think about how do i keep getting uncomfortable so that i can keep growing my name's lamar Scholl. hey if you got some value from this video subscribe to the direction to success channel look if you got a thought just want to say hi drop that down in a comment below thank you and i appreciate you